hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video uh, we are going to check uh, which one number is greater so here we have 60 to the power of 60 and the other number is 59 to the power of 61 and we will check which number is greater so the very first thing we are going to do is here first i can rewrite this relation or these two numbers as here i can write 60 to the power of 60 over 59 to the power of 61 so in order to check uh, which number is greater i can first check uh, the value of this relation is equals to 1 or i can just compare 60 to the power of 60 over 59 to the power of 61 versus only 1 so i can first check which number is greater from these two numbers okay if i when i can check which number is greater then after this i can implies the greaterness or lessness in, in the these two numbers so that now first i can uh, take this number here and i can write 60 to the power of 60 over 59 to the power of 61 is equals to here we have 60 to the power of 60 over here you have 59 to the power of 61 and i can write it as 59 to the power of 60 plus 1 and after that i can use here the nice exponential law <clears throat> and you know about this law if we have a to the power of m plus n is equals to a to the power of m times of a to the power of n i can use this nice law in the denominator of these terms and here you see that this implies 60 to the power of 60 over 59 to the power of 61 is equals to uh, here you have 60 to the power of 60 and i can apply this exponential law in the denominator of this term and you write 59 to the power of 60 times of 59 to the power of 1 and after this step uh, i can just uh, combine the the terms involving its exponent is 60 and i can separate the other terms so here you have 60 to the power of 60 and i can write it as 60 to the power of 60 over 59 to the power of 60 times of 1 over 59 and now we can combine the exponent of these two terms and you can uh, write the output in the form of 60 over 59 to the power of 60 times of 1 over 59 and now we can uh, rewrite this expression as here i can uh, rewrite this as here you have 60 and we can write the 60 as 59 plus 1 over 59 and it's whole power 60 times of 1 over 59 here i can just and now we can just separate these two expressions so that you can get 59 over 59 plus 1 over 59 and its whole power 60 times of 1 over 59 and now after this step we can just uh, simplify the terms and here you get because you see that this 59 is gone and here you get plus 1 and here you have 1 over 59 and its whole power you have 60 and we will write this 60 as 59 plus 1 times of 1 over 59 in the next step uh, i can just break its exponent and here i can write it as 1 plus 1 over 59 and its whole power 59 times 
of 1 plus 1 over 59 and its whole power 1 because here I can use the nice exponential law and you know about this law if we have a to the power of m plus n it is equals to a to the power of m times of a to the power of n so now again I can use this exponential law here and I can break its exponent in this form and here you have this is multiplied by 1 over 59 and now in the next step you see that uh, I can use here an other nice uh, fact about 1 plus 1 over 59 to the power of 59 and you know about this fact if we uh, you know that we have limit n approaches to infinity 1 plus 1 over n and its whole power n is equals to e and you know about the value of e is equals to 2.718284 and up to so on so you know that the value of e is something like this so uh, you you tells us that this value is less than 3 so this fact implies that we have 1 plus 1 over n and its whole power n is less than 3 so if less than 3 then here you have 1 plus 1 over 59 to the whole power 59 so it is also lesser than 3 so now we can replace this term by less than 3 and this expression will becomes in the form of and here we have the left hand side of this expression will be continued as 60 to the power of 60 over 59 to the power of 61 is less than because now we can put this value is less than 3 so this whole expression will be becomes a equality to the inequality so that we have is less than 3 times of 1 plus 1 over 59 and its whole power 1 times of 1 over 59 and now we can again compare both of these terms and here we can simplify this expression and it will become 60 over 59 times here you have 1 over 59 and I, I can little bit explain this concept of 1 over 59 and here you see that 1 over 59 is equal to 0 0.0169 and we know that the value of 1 over 6 is 0 0.166 so when you compare these two numbers and here you see that 1 over 59 is less than 1 over 6 because 1 over 69 is equal to 0 0.0169 and 1 over 6 is equal to 0 0.166 so uh, when you compare both of these then you see that 1 over 59 is less than 1 over 6 so now this expression will becomes in the form of 60 to the power of 60 over 59 to the power of 61 is less than 3 times of 60 over 59 times because 1 over 59 is less than 1 and here we write 1 over 6 and you can just cancel these terms uh, so finally you get 30 over 59 and when you divide 30 over 59 you will get 0 0.50 and here we see that 0 0.50 is less than 1 so finally we have 60 to the power 60 over 59 to the power 61 is less than 1 and when we move this term in the right hand side you will get 60 to the power of 60 is less than 59 to the power of 61 and finally we can say that uh, the number 60 to the power of 60 is less than 59 to the power of 61 and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos